We are joined now by uh, Dr. Dara Bushman, a clinical psychologist from Pembroke Pines. Yeah, Dr. Bushman, first of all, thank you for giving us your time this morning for such a critical topic that's affecting our community. Um, I live in this community. My kids go to Parkland schools. They go to an elementary school that was put on lockdown about a mile away from Stoneman Douglas where this happened. I'm going to read you a text message that my wife sent me um, a couple of minutes ago. It says, I don't know what to do this morning. Do I send the kids to school? Uh, the thought of putting them on a bus and sending them to school makes me want to cry. I know they'll be safe and they'll probably be good for them to go to school to have teachers and other students to talk to. Is, it, is, is, that, is that valid? I know that every family is different. They have to make that decision. Yes. We're thinking it's best to send them to school so that you can at least maintain some semblance yeah. of normal for them. Yes. I think um, first speaking with your kids and, and communicating with them, checking in how they're feeling, checking in with them of what their concerns and their fears may be. And also as parents, our important role is setting the tone for our children. We can explain to them our fears and concerns, but by expressing and demonstrating our courage and bravery and trust in other people and that ability for them to talk with their school counselors mm -hmm. and teachers will also instill that trust in, in kids to know that everything's okay and it's safe for them to go back to school. And they're so aware, they absorb so much in terms of oh, yeah, vibe kidding. and energy and anxiety from the adults and, and, and kids that they're around. Yes. We know there's a hotline that's been set up in Broward, 211, if somebody just wants to speak to someone. We know grief counselors are on hand. Someone asked me, grief counselors, but what about mom and dad being that grief counselor for them? That was a viewer question, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I ask you that the same. Yes, um, again, I would imagine for parents, what comes to mind to me is we're scared. We're scared, we're thinking, we've trusted, our, our, we've trusted other people with our children, and the thought right now of relinquishing that trust and asking other people to help our, our children can be a point of fear. Right. And yes, as parents, we can be guidance and counselors and help them through these times. Perhaps an alternative or an option would be to go with them to the counselors and, mm -hmm. and walk them and guide with them. Explain to them that mommy and daddy are also seeking assistance and asking questions, right? Because these are things that are not in handbooks to teach yep. us how to do. Mm -hmm. Because when push comes to shove avoidance is a, is impossible Correct. this is happening in it's, our communities it's going on it's happening it's going on and yeah. and even as so many of us have expressed and explained even if it's not affecting us directly it's affecting us in this world where we live in now with social media even what we're not saying it's not even what we are saying it's what we're not saying right mm -hmm. It has happened Very again. That is the most frustrating part. Yeah. Yes. All right, Dr. Bushman, thank you for being with us. Thank, uh, you. thank you. Our crews continue to be scattered across Broward County. Yep.